Horror fans are often divided on the issue of jump scares. Some call them cheap and tasteless, whilst others revel in their schlocky nature. But let's be fair, when films with loads of story potential develop an over-reliance on making the audience themselves, it strengthens the whole argument that perhaps they are becoming a little bit overused. Of course, a well-placed shock is all in good fun, since even some of the best horror movies of all time, from Alien to The Exorcist, include at least a handful of little ones just to make sure that you're paying attention. But sometimes, watching a movie completely devoid of cheap jumps is a necessary palate cleanser and heart repairer for the genre that prides itself on catching you off guard. If you're looking for movies with absolutely zero jump scares whatsoever, then you've come to the right place, funnily enough, as the impossible has been done. These films vary in terms of fright level and genre adherence, but all of them will make an impact without once trying to make you spill your popcorn. And I won't even do the cheap joke of shouting boo either. You're welcome. I am the soundtrack spike of Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 incredible horror movies with no jump scares. 10. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night With its fairly low body count, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night isn't necessarily the most outrageously frightening film you'll ever see. And since it's marketed as an Iranian vampire western, which sounds a whole lot like a film featuring blood-sucking cowboys turning into bats at dawn, it isn't really trying to be either. Anna Lily and Mirpour's directional debut instead focuses primarily on romance, human nature, and a whole load of tension. In fact, the scenes which offer the most palpable fear of death are actually those in which nobody dies at all. The film as a whole is deliciously stylish, carving its own path through the horror genre rather than outright paying tribute to its influences, with the fictional world of the bad city a dark and foreboding one that never drops a jump scare to hammer its point home. It's a film that relies on atmosphere and tone over anything else, with the bleak environment and intense, dark visuals that surround its characters able to cast an icy chill running down your spine in the quietest of moments. 9. Tusk Kevin Smith didn't wow critics when he took a stab at horror with Red State, and he impressed even fewer when he made Tusk. But that is the whole point, and why it is so beloved in cult circuits now. The idea is fairly straightforward, as a man finds an ad posted by a former sea adventurer and falls into a trap that results in his surgical transformation into a walrus. Yes, you did hear that right. And yes, it is batshit insane. There are times when Tusk feels as if it can't possibly get any weirder, only to prove itself wrong moments later. If you're the kind of person who watches horror movies for a sick laugh, you will find more than a handful of scenes in Tusk that will give you what you're looking for. If you're merely looking for gore, the unsettling human-slash-walrus hybrid will make your skin crawl suitably too. If you're of the mind that Tusk simply doesn't offer enough merit as a horror film, then at least Johnny Depp's take on a French-Canadian accent will provide some strange entertainment. Frankly, it has everything anyone could ever want to invest in. 8. The Blair Witch Project The Blair Witch Project's popularization of found footage movies is legendary to this day, cementing an unshakable cinema trend and a new breed of entertainment through simply running through the woods with a camera and screaming a bit on cue. Coupled with viral marketing tactics, including a fake documentary entitled Curse of the Blair Witch, and the filmmakers managed to convince moviegoers that The Blair Witch Project was 100% real. Whilst we have learned since then not to trust everything we see on screen, the way The Blair Witch Project handles its premise and strikes fear into moviegoers with such simple tools is fascinating to watch. With shaky home cameras unavoidably creepy for their grounding in our everyday experience of technology. To this day, it is hard not to think of the film if you find yourself wandering through any sort of woodlands. Just don't risk it, guys. 7. Wolf Creek Based on a very real series of murders committed by Australian serial killer Ivan Milat, Wolf Creek's villain Mick Taylor is a terrifying snapshot of just how evil a human can get, reveling in horror movie goodness without ever resorting to pantomime shocks in the film's runtime. Mick's goofy, caricatured personality intensifies the reveal of his darkly psychotic true nature, resulting in one of the more terrifying killers depicted by post-millennial horror films. Yes, it is disturbing, but the film's seven nominations from the Australian Film Institute further prove that those who can overcome the discomfort of Wolf Creek's more unsettling moments will enjoy this well-made modern grindhouse flick. Of particular interest is the pacing. Unlike most slasher films, Wolf Creek doesn't truly turn into a horror movie until just over halfway through. Once the dread sets in, however, it does not let up until the very end. 
Just as the film's protagonists find themselves trapped in a non-stop fight for survival, you won't escape Mick Taylor's deranged punishments until he is good and done with you. 6. Rosemary's Baby Not only does Rosemary's Baby contain no jump scares, it also contains none of the gore or violence often associated with horror films. Most of the fear comes from Rosemary's own paranoia, with simple moments such as a one-shot scene in a phone booth tricking the viewer into thinking that they will know what's going to happen next. Much like Rosemary, those watching this film for the first time will wonder if the central conflict is actually real, and those answers won't arrive until the very end. This approach actually stems from loyalty to the source material. Levin's novels are deeply psychological, and Roman Polanski uses that to his advantage in a deliciously terrifying manner. Other paranoia-driven films have tried to achieve something similar, but Polanski, aided by Mia Farrow's excellent performance as Rosemary, pulls it off with incredible success. You might not be falling off of your seat, but you will be definitely glued to the edge of it. 5. The Ones Below David Farr blends the horror and thriller genres in a nearly Hitchcockian manner in The Ones Below, keeping viewers in perfect suspense as they wonder whether protagonist Kate's new neighbours are truly plotting to steal her baby, or if Kate has just developed a nasty case of postpartum psychosis. The Ones Below takes its time. Kate's paranoia doesn't develop overnight, but it still leads to a terrifyingly dark place. Most interestingly, the scariest moment isn't where you would expect it to be, with the false ending serving as far more terrifying than anything else in the film. This movie isn't one that will scare you with violence, supernatural entities, or gore, but it will show you a depiction of very real and very frightening problems experienced by thousands of new mothers every day. Whether you're more inclined to fear mental illness or simply the pressure of keeping a new child safe, those expecting their own children may find the ones below far more terrifying than Rosemary's Baby on the sole basis of its realism. 4. The Silence of the Lambs Most viewers might consider The Silence of the Lambs to be more of a crime thriller than a horror film, but its boogeymen beg to differ. They may not rack up the same body counts as slasher villains such as Freddy and Jason, but Hannibal Lecter and Buffalo Bill are truly among the most memorable monsters put to film. And these characters aren't the film's only effective horror elements either. Watching Clarice through the lenses of Buffalo Bill's night vision goggles as she stumbles through the darkness is more than just suspenseful. The thought of someone lurking behind you, able to reach out and almost touch you without your awareness of their presence, taps into such a real anxiety it is almost impossible to watch. This is a film about a terrifying world in which monsters with human faces stalk the pitch-black basements of suburbia, and it doesn't need jumps to really send that home. 3. Frailty Another movie that walks a line of a psychological thriller, Frailty sees a man who becomes convinced that he and his children have been chosen by God to kill demons. But as far as his son Fenton can see, these demons are merely innocent people slain by a delusional serial killer. While the killings themselves are as horrific as they can be for a film generally lacking in gore, it is the psychological element that becomes increasingly terrifying as the story progresses. The God's Hand killer believes himself to be a true agent of the divine, and Fenton's younger brother Adam is almost immediately indoctrinated into believing the same thing. Frailty gets under your skin in a way that makes it difficult to approach the real world without at least a small amount of disgust, and it does so in excellent, slow-burning, and ever-so-careful fashion. 2. Session 9 Session 9 thrives on its environment, a rundown asylum with minimal set dressing. Danvers State Mental Hospital was apparently an unnerving place to film, too, with creepy voices and ghost sightings reported by the actors during their time there. As a result of this inbuilt atmospheric terror, the production design team didn't actually need to change much in order to achieve the tone that they wanted for the film. Ooh, creepy. The film itself tells the story of an asbestos removal crew heading into an asylum to clean it up, only to find disturbed ex-patient audio recordings that reveal far scarier secrets lurking in the building. And of course, not everyone that goes in comes out alive again. At the end of the film, it isn't made entirely clear how much what you have seen has been supernatural. Is Simon only a mirror for the movie's real antagonist, or a possessive force that sets the film's murders into action? Session 9 will not tell you, and not knowing will be the source of your real terror as the credits roll on this dark exploration of human nature. 1. The Eyes of My Mother the Eyes of My Mother is another black-and-white horror film released in recent years, utilizing the format to play with light and shadow to create spookiness rather than diving straight at you with in-your-face scares. 
And from its very opening scenes, the film takes on an unsettling tone that never once lets up. The film itself is about a girl who suffers a deep trauma from losing her mother in a horrific manner, but doesn't fear death in the same way other children do as she is so familiar with her family's surgical work. This results in some, uh, unique curiosities, and of course, some fatal consequences. Interestingly, most of the early deaths in the eyes of my mother occur off-screen, but every moment of the film remains incredibly tense and disturbing. A monster that looks like a monster can be frightening, but a monster that looks like the girl next door is far scarier for her normality. The film won't have you jumping out of your seat, but it will torment your mind in ways that few of the recent horror films have managed.